Sophie! Sophie! Did you say what sort of rock it was? No. Why were you phoning me anyway, you big idiot? Well, I wanted to talk some stuff through with someone, didn't I, you big dick? What stuff? You're not having gay feelings again, Mark. No, one time that happened. It's her. Uh, now, Soph, I, I want you to remain calm, but can you give me a description of, of the rock at all? Is it mossy, for example? Oh, great. No, no, that, that's, that's fine. Sure, see you soon. She's back at the hotel. She found Gerard and Isabel about five minutes after she called us. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, is this... Are we going the right way? Well, we're going down, so that must be right. Except we went down and then up, so... Look, we, we should just keep going. We're bound to hit something soon. We should probably hurry, because Sophie said there might be a bit of a thunderstorm coming in. Oh, great. So we have no idea where we are, and there might be a storm coming in, and we haven't got any stuff, and brilliant. We're dead meat. This isn't the Matterhorn, Jeremy. It's the Quantox. Nobody dies in the Quantox. If we're very unlucky, we might have wandered onto Exmoor, but... Exmoor? The Moors? The Baron Moors? The Moors murderers? We could easily die on a moor. Give me your phone. Why? I'm going to call Mountain Rescue. No. That's what they're there for. We're not calling Mountain Rescue. We're not going to be two of those idiots you hear about who go up mountains in flip-flops and sombreros and have to get rescued. What? You'd rather be one of the idiots they find frozen to death being chewed by badgers drinking their own piss? You can't call Mountain Rescue anyway. This isn't a mountain, it's a hill. Oh, right. They're going to leave me to die because I haven't got a geography degree. You'd prefer that, wouldn't you? To die rather than to ask for a simple piece of help. We are so going to die. Will you please stop saying that? Ow! What is it? Ah, oh, shit, my ankle. I'm... Look, just come here, mate. I've got you. <coughs> Look, come and sit over here. Ah, oh, ankle. Here we go. In a couple of hours, we'll be dead. Look, seriously, mate. Do you want me to go up there? I'll, I'll march up there a bit and try and get a bit of reception, yeah? Uh, no. No? No, mate, no, don't leave. Because, and, and I'm not being rude, if you go, you, you, you won't come back. You, you'll leave me here to die. Ah, so, now you're admitting that one of us might die. Nobody is going to die. This is southern England. Nobody dies in southern England, Jeremy. That just doesn't happen, OK? Now, look, I haven't told you about this before, but I actually have a bar of dairy milk with me. I, I think it's probably time we rationed it out. Rationing? Can't we just have a bit? We've only been lost for 20 minutes and you want to start rationing. Let's just eat it. Well, it's hardly worth starting the rationing once we've eaten it, is it? Oh, you love rationing, don't you? You've been waiting for an opportunity to do rationing on me since the day we met and finally, finally, one's come along and you love it, don't you? I just thought a block each every two hours and... Bollocks. Give me my half now. You can ration yourself if you're so keen on it. Well, if you insist, there's seven segments, so that's three each with one left over, which is mine, seeing as it's... All mine. The spirit of the Blitz lives on. Fucking hell. No, oh, that is good. That is so good. Now, just don't come to me asking for some more when you didn't have the foresight to... Can I have a bit more? No. Oh, come on, just a bit. My half of the fourth chunk. Come on. Jeremy, I explained to you what would Oh, happen. come on, Mark. You knew what would happen. As soon as you mentioned chocolate, you knew I'd want to eat it. You know my nature. This isn't fair. You're using my nature against me. Look, let's just concentrate on getting back to the hotel. All right. Sure, mate, sure. And, um, and thanks, mate. For the chocolate. Don't mention it. Always got the Twix. No need to mention the Twix.